Hello, in this video we'll see how to create an activity and assign it to a student manually. That is, we can assign to only particular students. Okay, so let's go to activity and then click on create activity and then we'll select a class and subject. And then give a title for your activity. Select your activity question. If it is matched the following, fill in the blanks. MCQ or descriptive question. So you can give it. So I'm adding a fill in the blanks question. First you have to give the title. And then provide the question in the question space below. So since it is a fill in the blanks question, you have to provide the answer to be filled in parentheses inside a parenthesis. So the word to be filled is to be given inside parenthesis. And then you can give the mark. And then if you want the students to view the answer upon submitting, you can click on the checkbox. And then click on save material to save this activity. And if you want to add more activities, you can click on add material and add activity questions. So click on save activity to save the activity. So now you can click on select students manually to assign this activity to particular students to selected students. So you can search the student's username or the search bar and then select the student. So you can select as many as students just by searching the username and then selecting the students. So you can select particular students only. Okay. And then after selecting, you can click on assign activity and assign it to students. You can choose a due date. And then click on assign activity and then assign it to this particular student. Okay, now it is assigned to one student. So likewise, we can assign activity to particular students only by clicking on select students manually and then assign it to them. So next we can go to activities and then view activities to view our activity. So here we can see our activity, English activity. We can click on I symbol to view our activity. So this is how we assign activities individually to particular students. So hope you have all understood. Thank you.